Well, people, look here. Um, if you remember about a week ago, I took... I had taken out my Enjoy Pathos that I had rooted in my hang on back filter. And I had discovered a Marble Queen baby that I totally forgot that I even had in here. And as you see now, another leaf has already sprouted on here. And I think what, they, what it was is that when I had the Enjoy Pathos, it was basically covering it so it wasn't able to get no kind of light. So in this short amount of time, the new leaf is already sprouted and basically it's about to open up any given second. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but probably by tomorrow, it'll be all the way open. And that's just amazing to me to see how life makes a way for itself. Like people say, like, if you just provide the environment, if everything else will come. And this little experiment that I'm doing in my hang on back filter proves it. I know I talk about it a lot. This huge vine, you see where it came from. It's sprouting all under this table. I talk about it a lot, and this is not really an official update. I'm just kind of doing it just because I'm already here. And if you see these roots, they're actually, and I kind of probably should be a little bit more mindful of it, but they're actually somewhat tacking to the side of this um wall and the thing i like about this particular pothos is that okay let me show you these leaves are so variegated and that's that's how you can tell that it comes from a nutrient rich um environment some of these look look at the variegation on this and now the mother plant is springing backwards. It's just a lot of success with this particular plant. It goes through here. And it curls around my corn plant. I have it coming through here and then it's coming out. And I purposely did this because these little roots, I want them to eventually they'll probably suck into the um, soil. So there's no telling what's going to be happening over here. And then very quickly, you this was the Enjoy Pathos that came out of my aquarium filter. And as you see, it's already um, actually got a new leaf. Look at this. See that? That's since I've repotted it. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any more in here. That's the only one I can see directly on. Um, but it was a successful transplant. Then I promised everyone I had just did this green bonnie um, spider plant. I'm probably doing the update a little bit too soon. But um, if you're a plant person, I can tell by the, the shine on it that um, and some of the leaves are actually upright, especially here in the center. That's how you can tell when the plant is adjusted when they start to when they when they were plopped and they start to uplift. That's how you know it was a successful transplant. I know it seems like I'm going kind of going all over the place, but um, I'm just doing a couple of quick updates on the spot. And this was my green philodendron that this has been here for year, I'd say about a year. When remember I had split it about a week ago. So this is the result of it. It's still kind of adjusting, but the philodendrons you just put there pretty, ain't nothing to them. You throw them in the dirt, they'll do what they need to do. Um, and here is the, the, mother, the mother marble queen, where the one that you see in the filter, this is the mother plant. I had a Schiflera plant in here in this particular pot. It had died, so I just went ahead and took it out and put the Marble Queen in here. And it's, you see it is upright and healthy. So I got a lot of good things going on here. This is a baby wandering Jew. And you see how with this little growing medium that it's in, and it's still doing what it's doing. That's what I'd be trying to tell people, like, with plants, 
just use what you got. Like people always say, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. But use what you got. That's what I do. And I, I, I have a lot of success with it. Um, and that's why you notice I got, I use everything for growing mediums. Like this is just a little cup. And it's working. You can see the roots clear as day. Hold on here. So I just, this, look, my house is basically like a miniature um, science project. And this is my deep in block. I didn't really do a video on this, but I recently cut it back, actually, because it was starting to lean over. But if you look here, you see new leaf, new leaf, new leaf, new leaf. So when you have plants, you can't be afraid to, um, I mean, the, yes, they're living org organisms, but you got to look at yourself like you're the boss. So when you see it not going the way that you want it, you got to make the proper adjustments. Um, the first time or two, you might make some mistakes, but um, as you see, this is doing it very good. It's coming back with a vengeance. Like, oh, you trying to kill me? I'm coming back. So, um, not really trying to, you know, not trying to kill it. Just needed a haircut. So, it's coming back and doing what it does. All right, people. Have a nice day. And thank you once again for your support.